Chairman of the Government Medical Officers Association, Dr. Andrew Dapadeni, expressed the following views yesterday on COVID-19 statistics. This is what we have been saying all along. The minister appointed a director for information as well. That person updates the website of the Ministry of Health saying there is no data. Even the director of information is not provided the details. The epidemiology unit has six responsibilities. The first is surveillance. Second is outdate control. Third is vaccination. Fourth is clinical coordination. Fifth is operational research. And finally is monitoring and evaluation. However, no such thing is done. Consultants there complain to us that they are not allowed to access files and that only three people are controlling it. I will responsibly state this is a conspiracy. They are not releasing data. Director General of Health Services expressed his opinion on the matter today. We cannot conclude it's a conspiracy, but there was a lacuna in issuing data. Even regarding the deaths which occur, we release those statistics within 24 hours. The restructuring is done to correct the shortcomings of the past. What travel restrictions extended due to inaccurate statistics? These decisions cannot be attributed to one factor. That clarification must be sought from the authorities which made those decisions. As the Ministry of Health, it is difficult to answer that question. Meanwhile, the Director of the Epidemiology Unit of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Sudat Samaravira, has been transferred as the Director of the Dengue Eradication Unit of the Ministry of Health. Dr. Samitha Ginige has been appointed the Acting Director of the Epidemiology Unit. None of these reports depict the deaths which have been reported over 24 hours. This was a mistake, but it was known by everyone. We have a question as to whether only the heads of the government were unaware of it. The report clearly states a window of time where the deaths have occurred. The report does not highlight the deaths which occurred the previous day. Dr. Sudat Samaravira has been made the scapegoat and has been removed from his position. Is this fair? Would the statistics be accurate pursuant to this transfer? Padinia is an aide of President Rajapaksa. He does not know a thing about the epidemiology unit. No death can immediately be included in the statistics. Once a patient dies, a PCR is conducted. It takes two to four days for the results of that PCR to be published. So a COVID-19 death is only confirmed after a certain number of days. The figure 101 is is, the number of deaths have increased by 101 today from the number which existed the day before. In whatever way, the number of deaths increase. If the report is wrong, the number of deaths are also wrong. This is the sort of confusion we can expect if the authorities try to work with these people. If the health sector was given total control to curtail the pandemic, they would have controlled it already. Why wasn't it done? Because a presidential task force was appointed with people who do not have an iota of knowledge on this. This is a case of too many cooks spoiling the soup. The task of the dog cannot be carried out by the donkey. Give it to the dog instead. That is when we can expect it to function smoothly.